vibrant, almost hot. Yet Lubaina Himid only lived the first four months of her life in Zanzibar, East Africa. They're kind of various stages of people just trying to understand why there are these vibrations in the air. Much of this was painted in Preston in Northern England, where she teaches art. But the show is inescapably and intensely Africa. Heat, light, colour. But Lubaina also alludes to the ghost of slavery. In this group, erstwhile slaves and a reference to a slave ship upon which some 36 West Africans were blinded by a disease and then fast thrown overboard. The ghost of that trauma sits at the table with a group of tailors and their cotton reels. I think I've been carrying an Africanness in me all these 60 odd years in England and trying to find it again, I suppose, trying to um, not be afraid of it. What intrigues me about your paintings is that there's so much information and yet so little detail. I want audiences, when they're looking at these paintings, to imagine themselves in those paintings or as those paintings. If you put too much detail, then there isn't the space for anyone looking at it to kind of enter in. Let's take you back 30 years. Okay. To, to, to when you went to Preston yeah, to yeah. start painting in your own studio and, mm. and teaching and all the rest of it. Did you ever imagine you could ever be in the Tate Gallery with a full <laughs> exhibition of how many pictures? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess no, of course no, but I was really always ambitious to change the way that British art galleries were. Is this a kind of arrival for the place of black artists in British culture? We were always here, do you know what I mean? We were always here. We were always contributing in all sorts of different ways from, you know, right far, far back we were contributing. I think the moment has come where the British art establishment really understand that we enrich it, you know, we're not threatening it or we're enriching what British culture is. Is this exhibition a draw for black Britons to come to a gallery that they may never usually visit? You don't have to be black to understand sorrow or loss or love. So there are plenty of entry points. But I think the chances of black people coming to exhibitions and museums are greater when we can see ourselves and our lives played out. Mm -hmm.